By now, you've probably heard about how businesses across the country and right here in Maine are struggling to find enough workers. Some are coming up with some out of the box ideas to try to solve the problem. Everyone's really struggling to stay afloat due to the work and shortage. Bangor Tradewinds employee Michael McCray says this worker shortage causing signs like these to pop up just about everywhere you look. The higher ups had come up with it as a way to kind of entice people to stay for a bit. It is a paying job, but wait, there's more. You a $250 bonus uh, for signing on and they give you free Netflix for a year. And they're not alone. Area McDonald's are offering a $200 sign-on bonus and up to $2,500 every year of employment to put toward college tuition costs. Many businesses increasing their hourly wages just to keep up with the competition. Oh yeah, wages have definitely uh, moved up. Vice President of Dysart's Tim Dysart says it's been a struggle all summer long. We've gone to shorter hours, uh, you know, here and Broadway, and then at Broadway for the last uh, three weeks we've been closed on Monday and Tuesday to be able to spread that crew uh, between the two restaurants. So where have all the workers gone? There are some theories about that. There are people that are on unemployment. They'll put in like an application and then they just have to show they put in that application and got called in for an interview. They don't have to show up for it. So those unemployment benefits can keep rolling in. McRae adds something to keep in mind next time you're feeling frustrated waiting a little longer than usual for service. We're working hard and we're trying to keep afloat. <laughs> Please be nice to me. I'm very fragile. <laughs> Now, Tim Dysart tells our Carly Dion there that the tourism season, as it dies down, he thinks that business will slow down, which will actually help allow him and his staff to catch up.